What are you up to, son? Dad, I am preparing for the annual fair being held at our school tomorrow. I have reserved a stall there for selling homemade pastries prepared by mom. So I am packing these pastry boxes to take them to school tomorrow. But what are you doing with these boxes? I have been watching you struggle with them for the past half an hour. Actually, I am trying to find a cardboard box that is big enough to carry all the pastry boxes as I don't want to carry more than one big box to the school. But JC, if you kept on going like this, it would take you a lot of time to find the right box. What do I do then? Well, a better way would be to find out how much space these pastry boxes occupy in total and then find the box of the same volume. And how do I do that? First, we will calculate the total volume of all the pastry boxes. Then, we will look for a cardboard box of the same volume. Volume? Dad, I have heard about volume before, but I don't really understand what it means. JC, volume is the space occupied by an object. Space occupied by an object. Dad, can you please explain this in more detail? Let's take the example of this pastry box. If you place this pastry box in that big cardboard box, all of its sides will occupy a certain space, right? Yes. So the space occupied by this pastry box is the volume of the pastry box. And how do we calculate volume? Go get me a dice and a scale and I will explain it to you. JC, let's find out the dimensions of this dice. Okay, Dad. If we place the scale along the length of the dice, it measures one centimeter. If we place the scale along the height of the dice, it measures one centimeter. JC, now you tell me how much the width of the dice measures? It also measures one centimeter. Correct, JC. So all the sides have a length of one centimeter. The volume of the dice will be equal to its length multiplied by width multiplied by height. That is one centimeter multiplied by one centimeter multiplied by one centimeter that is equal to one cubic centimeter. Okay, Dad. We will now find out the volume of the pastry box with the help of the volume of this dice. Okay, Dad. But how? Relax, JC. To find out the length of the pastry box, we will place the dice along its length. We placed six dice along its length. Exactly, son. So the length of the pastry box is six times the length of this dice. That is six centimeters. Oh yeah, that's cool dad. Now let's find the height of the pastry box. Go ahead son. This time we have placed five dice along its height. So the height of the pastry box is five centimeters. Very good. As four dice are placed along its width, it measures four centimeters. JC, now we will find out the total number of cubes which can be placed inside the whole pastry box. Okay, Dad. Total number of cubes that can be placed inside the pastry box can be found out by multiplying its length with its width and height. That is 6 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 5. That is 120 dice. Wow! 120 dice? But Dad, what will be the volume of the pastry box? Relax, JC. I'm getting to that. To find out the volume of the box, 
we simply have to multiply the volume of a cube of 1 cm with the total number of cubes that can be stacked inside the box. That means 1 cubic centimeter multiplied with 120 dice. Am I right, Dad? Exactly. So the volume of a pastry box is 120 cubic centimeters. Okay, Dad. And the volume of 30 such pastry boxes will be 30 multiplied by 120 cubic centimeters. That is 3600 cubic centimeters. JC, to find out the volume of any cube or cuboid, we can simply multiply its length, width, and height. And always remember that the basic unit of volume is a cubic centimeter. That is, the volume of a cube of side 1 centimeter. Okay, that is why we multiplied the total number of dice of side 1 centimeter that could fit inside the pastry box with the volume of one dice to find the volume of the pastry box, right? Very good, JC. Now, bring those three large boxes. Let's find each one's volume. Sure, Dad. First, we have to find out the dimensions of each box. Then, we have to multiply the respective dimensions to find out each one's volume. Okay, Dad. Box 1's length measures 20 centimeters, width measures 12 centimeters, and the height measures 10 centimeters. So the volume is. The volume of the box is 20 centimeters multiplied by 12 centimeters multiplied by 10 centimeters. That is. 2,400 cubic centimeters. Excellent! Now you find out the volume of the second box. The second box has a length 30 centimeters, width 12 centimeters, and height 10 centimeters. So its volume is equal to 30 centimeters multiplied by 12 centimeters multiplied by 10 centimeters. That is 3,600 cubic centimeters. Good! So this means that this box is the perfect size for the 30 pastry boxes. Oh yeah! The volume of the second box is equal to the volume of the total number of pastry boxes. Yes! Let's start packing now. Okay! Hi friends! Today, Dad helped me to pack pastry boxes and while doing so, he taught me the concept of volume. Let's revise what I learned today. Volume is the space occupied by an object. The basic unit of volume is 1 cubic centimeter which can be calculated by using a cube of side 1 centimeter. This 1 centimeter cube is used to measure the volume of solid shapes like cubes or cuboids. To find the volume of a cube or cuboid, we simply have to multiply its length and width and height. Finding the volume of an object is easy when we know the formula. 